To Anderton TV. Yes, Pete's been on yes, holiday. Yes. It's looking tan. Probably I've got a bit of a tan going on because that, uh, yeah. that was my plan. Bit of summer glow. And I've got so many mosquito uh, bites. Oh, really? Yeah, but we were yeah. going to in, in between two sort of in you, a, a yacht. You say valley, holiday, but, but secretly you were filming the 2023 series of Love Island, weren't you? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> secretly. Did you win? <laughs> I'm not going to tell you anything yet, but I was also, uh, what's the other one we filmed? It's the First uh, Dates. First Dates was the other one. Um, <laughs> For some reason, I got into uh, the pensioners category. I don't know why I ended up in there, but that was good for me, you know. And then I filmed, uh, what's the other one? Um, Married First Sight, that was the one. Yeah. Married First Sight. All the world's worst, dreadful television yeah, programs. In two and weeks, honestly, can you believe that? In two weeks. Uh, yes, if you're watching those and not just uh, binging on Anderson's YouTube yeah. videos, uh, then you should be ashamed of yourself. Anyway! <laughs> It's been a while, but uh, behind me are a, a red, blue and a green amplifier and they are on a deal, which is a great excuse for oh, us to do a video, which is a... Epic <laughs> Wow. <laughs> yeah. um, but before we do this, please like and subscribe. And remember, we've got some stuff to give away. We're going to uh, be giving away stuff, more stuff Yeah, 800, 850, 900, 950. This is a new and thing. And a million, it's a new thing. Um, be good we don't stuff. know what we're giving away yet, but we're giving away stuff. Oh, right. I know what we're giving away. Okay. Me. Um, <laughs> the amps are the main subject of the epic deal, but we grabbed a couple of guitars that are on offer as well, so to sort of give it the full epic flavour. We um, giveth, you taketh. So, uh, for their 10th anniversary, I think maybe four years ago, Black Star released a range of amplifiers called the Studio Sears, I think it was. Um, and essentially one had a, one was voiced to be a slightly more sort of um, rock metal type of amplifier with a KT-88 in it. One was voiced to be a sort of a more traditional British sound. Some would say perhaps more voxy than Marshall, yeah. but it, that kind of ballpark. So that's got an EL-34 in the power section. And then the uh, one was voiced to be more American sounding, more sort of Fendry, I suppose, with yeah. a 606. And, uh, Last year, I think, or perhaps beginning of this year, they sort of reissued those in these limited edition colours. Uh, and yes, we've bought the final lorry load of them. Uh, and so this is the subject of Epic Deal. So these are 10 watt all valve amplifiers, mm. uh, Celestian speakers, 12 inch speakers, um, reduced from 629 to 399. It's a good deal. It They're is good a good amps. deal. And it sounds red, it sounds blue, and it sounds. I would Less say blue. that sounds bluer than that sounds green, but yeah. um, that that's green? just my opinion. Is that green? Is that like the dress thing? Where is it green or is it blue? Is it greeny blue? I would say it's what is this green. then? That's uh, here we are. Here we are again. Did you know that the human eye can see more shades of green than anything else? Isn't that something to do with, with hunting? The hunting and eating, we used to hunt. and why yeah. we see red so clearly because red is danger or something. I don't think we see red very yeah. clearly, don't we? I wish I see red <laughs> more clearly if it means danger. Right. I'm not good so, at that. Um, Pete, Maybe let's start. Red. Let's start with actually tell us about your guitar just quickly. When this is, these are just you know sideshow guitars. Well, really. I was just going to say really quickly that there is a link below for this, and uh, it used to be it was six hundred ninety nine, and now it is four ninety nine. I believe it was yeah four ninety nine. That's and a D'Angelico, isn't it's it? It's a D'Angelico uh, Premier DC double. You say D'Angelico, I say D'Angelico. Who's right? D is it Diodario or Diodario? Well, yeah. that's what it is, isn't it? Um, is it? Uh, I don't know. Dinosaur but, or dinosaur? Dinosaur. Is it? Uh, <laughs> Dinosaur. Anyway, Diana. right, yeah, that's oh. reduced, and this is a Chapman ML1 with Seymour Duncan pickups in it, American pickups. This is reduced as well, 4 dollars There is a single cut version of this in, <gasps> in, a, in a, a, a red, you know, the salmon kind of red they do? I do. Lovely guitar. I've never seen no a red frills, salmon. No frills, drills, anything. Uh, yeah. So it's just straight on. I love these guitars. They're good. And comes with a bag. What? Salmon what? Rusty. <laughs> right, now, again, Ameri got a, we've got a button on the Ooh. top that uh, I think it's described as, is it boost on that? What's it described uh, as? Drive. It says drive on this one here. 
Okay, so we've got a, a basically a clean sounding 10 watt valve amplifier. You hit the drive button and it emulates kind of having like a tube screamer type boosted circuit in the front of it. Yeah. So uh, other than that, you've just got Super gain, the Black Star's infinite shape feature. Sounds like something from X-Men, uh, but ISF reverb, digital reverb and a master volume and a standby. But not those kind stand of by. But here's a, uh, let's do everything at 12 o'clock. Reverb is uh, a chip inside. I'm, I would assume. Fish and chips inside, yes. Digital reverb. Nice leather yeah. handle. There you go. On a neck pickup on this uh, D'Angelico. Drive in there, isn't it? It's a little. I like if I work, go on the back got... Yeah, I've got, got so the I've gain. Got you've got but... the gain halfway up, so, so... You, you could go spanky clean, like what you can't see. Pete's just done. Yeah. Drop the gain to sort of nine o'clock. Boost the master volume up to three o'clock. <laughs> so. Yeah. All spread for you. Master all the way up, actually. Oh, all the way. Reverb all the way up and slightly over, I'll say nine, maybe quarter past nine. It's tired nice. of Pete's jazzy licks and you want to hear uh, Rob <laughs> Chapman and I demonstrating the original series of these amplifiers. There's a link up there. Um, you probably won't, but who knows. Hey, um, hey man. Could we just yeah, hear good, the... Now, the ISF feature, if you're not familiar with Blackstar amps, most Blackstar amps, if not all of them, have got that ISF. But these have got tones, these um, two. Oh, you that's that interesting. One, yeah. So these ISF is only on the... Uh, I take it all back. So that's a traditional turn yeah. it up, it gets brighter, turn it down, it gets darker, right? Yeah. Okay. Foot foots will drive as well. I'm just reading, oh, this says in the top, of course, effects loops and special voice effects reverb. Loop. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah. yeah, yeah. Oh, look at that. Uh, you sound like a little horse there. I did, didn't I? Naughty little horsey. Okay. Uh, let's see. <laughs> so is that's, that with um, or without the boost that you've put in? The boost is now in. Okay. We like it in E, you know. So I'll go G. I really like that. I it's think kind again, of, um... anybody that's sitting here thinking, what else? You know, four hundred pounds by me. It's, it's basically nothing as far as valve amp is concerned. No, it's you know, quite... if you took something like a Fender Blues Junior, which I suppose would be similar vibe to that, they're over six hundred pounds now. Are they six fifty something like that? So it's good deal. Good deal. What? Obviously, no. you know, green with the wicker front won't be everybody's cup of tea. But I love you it. know, it is what it is. I believe the. 6L6 and the 34 one are still available in the in the black covering, okay. but they're not on sale. So if you really love that amp but can't stand green and don't mind paying extra, then you could just find the original studio Or just get it lo by a lot of yeah, a little kind of spray uh, paint. Pens. Yeah, whatever. Let's have a little, I just want to do before we go really quick, just gain well, up a little bit. gunning it. It's just going to go up again. <laughs> It's not that everybody's amp. shaking their heads in here, uh, but I just wanted to see what how how tight it was, and it's, you know it's tight. Um, it's, I like I'm not that tighter, sound. but you know I like that sound. Uh, that's no pedals. So even though Pete's got mm. a million pounds worth of pedals on the floor here, that's least, none. What about um, you know just a bit of a Dane on top? Yeah, there. yeah, because that's slightly different. But that is different from the tube screamer. It's not a tube screamer. So that, and without, with, how does it do the boost? 
<laughs> you know, we're, I mean, we're, get, we're getting into pedal, so we're getting into gigging territory on the yeah. uh, decibel meter. I think I can turn it up a bit more. On the that is with the boost on, by the way. So um, here. sorry for somebody that I like perhaps it. wanted this amplifier purely for home use. Mm -hmm. How good does it sound? Really quiet. So if we if we if we accept that our sort of speaking volume is you 60, 70 dB. You keep speaking, we... I will play a bit for you, my friend. And That's if, fine, if, if you use the little pedal just to sort of, you know. I mean, if you, I wouldn't play in a, a semi-hollow because yeah. like, that'll... I mean, it, 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 it doesn't does move. The, the speaker's not sort of, you know, moving a lot of air, so you're not getting that sense of excitement maybe you do it a bit louder but the basic tone of it is yeah. perfectly good at that kind I mean, of volume. at home I'll, I'll play maybe slightly louder than that would you it's, that's that's I mean in my I, house I, they like it when yeah. I play guitar that's probably the difference <laughs> Let me just get you a saucer of milk. Hang on a second. <laughs> saucer of milk for table one. I think um, that's probably the level I would play at home when I do my little Instagram videos yeah, I, or whatever. I'd have to play quieter than um, that, but you could. So right. Anyway, in the interest of keeping this, uh, in the interest of keeping this video, yeah, uh, quickly jump into that one there. Uh, not too long. So the blue one. <laughs> I do like that colour. Lovely kind of royal blue. Okay, so this is, uh, again, this is uh, EL34 with a more of a British vibe to yeah, it. So I'll turn let's on have a bit of Come on, be, be, turn it up a bit, don't be stingy. Okay, so that's Every, not as loud as this one. Maybe it's quite as loud. Uh, just uh, for the eagle out of yours, we're only marking up with the 57, not the royal in there. So we've yes. got an equal... Uh... I mean, that breaks up much... Which... Much more middly, isn't it? Much more middly. middly. So, but, so they are different amp. It's not just the tubes that are different in these. Correct. Right. So you would... Because I like... Per personally, I, I like a 6L6 based amp, but with EL34s uh, in it. Because it, the clean sound is very, very similar. Mm -hmm. But once you put gain on it, that the EL 34s in my opinion, takes the gain slightly better. It's just a bit sort of more. I mean, it sounds good. It sounds sound good. Really it's good. I prefer this one, in my Do opinion. Do you? I'm not so sure. Yeah, for the clean, the drives, I prefer this one. I, I actually just think I... it's just a very, it's a classic example of what British versus American kind of, that is in a, you know, if you wanted to just have a really quick kind of, what do you think of when you think of classic old Voxy Marshally kind of sounds versus Fendry sounds, it is that slight difference in the growly mid-range. I think we went to do a video up at Blackstar where we spoke to, was it Paul maybe? Paul, and he, yeah. ex he explained, we swapped in, Different tubes in the, these amp, didn't we? So maybe the, that will be up it's there the, as well. The, the, tu the tubes themselves aren't the, as big a difference as a lot of people think. It's all about the, the, the tone set and exactly. the gain structure. The anyway, anyway. Uh, so with, uh, Sorry. if I boost this, boost. it's more along the lines of adding um, an actual boost pedal, like a top boost pedal to a, to a classic okay. uh, sound. So. See, I like the gain better. Maybe a bit fizzy. So I'll gain it down and turn the yeah. master a bit. So I've just, I've just seen what the difference between the, the, oh, the, sorry. the boost is quite an effective Yeah, it's got gainy, isn't it? Yeah.
like it. Sounds good. Maze balls. Yeah. Okay. Massive maze balls. Um, the red one on the end. Careful with I the red think ones. is probably the most conventional two-channel amplifier. So you know the the the, the clean sound is clean. I've got a compressor on. I'll turn it off. Compression. And that is gain, halfway, master, teeny bit over. Now this does have the ISF infinite shape feature, which um, is more like a filtered tone control. So as you you know as you move it, it's not. I'll show you. So here's all the way off. <laughs> Here's all the way on. That's like a, a reverse tone control. It does a lot. I mean, I've got. Do you know what I mean? Uh, I've got the ISF thingy on an amp at home, and, and it is about. I quite like it because you do just. You just have to find the sweet spot for your guitar and the kind of tone that you want to use. Yeah. Um, sweet spot is always what it's all about. Lee. No pedals again, but now I'm on the over. Wow. Holy moly, that was loud, wasn't it? It's probably too loud, right? Or are we okay? Well, I think we're okay. We were okay. Not much we? coming in, but it's so fine. that was gain halfway round. If I put the gain sort of a quarter of the way. Still almost it's the same. Great, though, yeah, it? it's a good. Woo! That's a very American modern gain kind of uh, sound. Can we do you just I, try that guitar in this one with the yeah. gain? Because I just want to see I'm if just that gonna, affects it. Now, if I, I go do, three do quarters of the gain, no pedals. I mean, it's. I can't play this stuff. I thought you had lessons with Jamie recently. Uh, I have lessons with all sorts of people. With everyone, and it just, it's it just like literally it goes in one ear and out the other. <laughs> So yeah, look, Water that was duck. no pedals. I'm just, I keep looking down to just triple check. They're really sounding good with Plug no pedals. Plug in here, please. Plug in there and then see what that does here. with the gain on. Yeah. Gain, boost, and yeah, let's see what... oh, crikey, Master's on full bit oh. on it there. So we, again, we've got like a three quarters of the gain. Oh, this is... uh, Pegasus and Sentient. Yeah, I, I prefer that for the gain. This? No. The, oh, no, ah, yeah, yeah. That, this is a... This is a vintage British gain Clean. amp sound. That's Clean. a modern high gain. Eight hundred quid, man. For do you get that? And that is eight hundred quid. You can do stereo a stereo rig. rig, or you can do a you know whatever. Yeah, two uh, amps. It's a know, good little. I mean, it's a, that's the I mean, red one is good, isn't it? I mean, what do you? What uh, so, do you, no, you I just want wanted go to try the clean. The clean. Uh, and then in the middle, just to see what it does with this guitar. Yeah. I've got some amps. I've got a one amp with the KT88 in it, and it is a very, very different sound. Anyway, epic deal, man. Come on, that's all we need to know, so, isn't yeah. it? So, yeah, 399 uh, when they're gone, they're gone. So, links below, don't delay, and all that malarkey. 499 for this burl top Seymour Duncan loaded 24 fret super stratty thing, and 499 for that semi solid. Uh, yeah. Semi solid. Semi -solid. Mm -hmm. And there uh, will probably be more deals in there if you type in epic deals in the website as well. You can just go in and search yeah, for epic can. deals, you and never then know. you'll get. All sorts of stuff come up. Who knows? Maybe you'll go, oh, mm. I didn't think I was going to buy a tuber today, but have you got tubers? Uh, I'll put some on just for you. Just for me. Okay. Can we right. do purple ones? Yes, purple, purple tubers. tubers. <laughs> oh my God. Right. Uh, thank you very much for watching. We shall see you in another video soon. Oh, God. <laughs>